I'm here with Jordan Levitt, Chief Instructor at NASA Northeast, and he's going to tell us about his TT3 BMW. Jordan. Sure. So this is a E46 with an S54 motor. As you can see, it has 295s all around, square setup. It's got some aero artisan research up front. Zebulon in the rear, two brands that are pretty common on these cars these days. And the goal for TT is to make a car that's reliable and fits within a class well. I found that S, uh, the S54 motor was good for that from a power perspective, and the E46 was a great platform for it. So how many horsepower is this car, Jordan? This right now is pushing about 325. At the wheels? At the wheels. And the weight? You got it. Uh, with about the driver? Thir about 3,100 wet. With, with the, the driver. driver. Okay. Can you show yep. us the inside? Absolutely. Come over to the interior. Now, as chief instructor, I am responsible at times to take drivers out. So you will see in my case, I do have an extra seat and you can see all the proper safety equipment intact. There is, in this case, uh, TT, you do, uh, you do drive fast, you are competitive. So you treat it like a race car in, in my eyes. So mine is caged. It does have fire suppression, standard fire suppression, as well as a couple of uh, bottles I could pull if needed. Um, fortunately, I've never had to, but that's why you have safety equipment. It's a good insurance policy. The more you have, it feels like the less you might need it. Now, on the other hand, I like to stay cool. So, in my trunk, what you will find here is I have a system that runs through a shirt that allows me to run ice water around my body. So, it's not something you absolutely need, but on hot 100 and whatever degree days like this, it's nice to have that. Turn it on, turn it off. Uh, in my case, you can see the remote canisters. These are for three-way adjustables from MCS. <laughs> and as we as we come over to the driver's side of the car again in my particular case it looks just like a race car it is a car that passes race tech this was raced with nasa uh you can however for tt also use a street car and if we uh if we look around just in this vicinity you'll see uh there's four bmws lined up here any one of these cars would qualify for TT. You have two of them with some bolt-in bolt cages. You have another one that was a GTS2 race car that's now being used in DE and will soon make its way up to TT. It's a great way to go. TT allows you to go from your novice to your intermediate to advanced. And then from there, you can step it up and instead of going from wheel to wheel, you can work on your times. Your biggest competitor at that point is the clock. It's just yourself. So if you go to a track and you're running two minutes and 20 seconds and you want to try to get to 214, what we allow you to do is have a car in front of you that's just a little bit faster. And as it's just a little bit faster, you're the dog chasing the rabbit. You are going to naturally get faster. So it's a great way to go without having to go wheel to wheel. Thank you for taking a look at my car and I look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks, Jordan.